Father and our God, we want to say thank you. Thank you because you are a very good God. You are our very present help in times of trouble. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for giving it to us in abundance. We say may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask this morning that you take and accept this offering in the name of Jesus. The pocket that this money has come from will never run dry in the name of Jesus. The legs that we have used to dance will not be cut off in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we will not beg for bread in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh Lord, and we declare that as we go into this week, Father, please go ahead of us in the name of Jesus. Children are resuming back to school tomorrow. Oh, there's so much tension in some families. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you come through like never before in the name of Jesus. Father, make a way for us where there seems to be no way in the name of Jesus. You are the one that made the way, Lord, on the days of the whole. Father, do it again, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we will give you back all the glory. Father, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus for everyone that could not give to one reason or the other. Come this time next week, they will give in abundance in the name of Jesus. Father, accept us and accept our offering this morning in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let the living shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. If you're excited to be in church, shout hallelujah. We have some very special people in our midst this morning. If today is your first time here in Lifegate Parish, please can you stand up? Majestically, let's welcome you the life gateway. You're welcome, ma. You're welcome, sir. We're so happy to see you. So our pastor knows you'll be here and he has prepared a very special message for you. And it says, Welcome home. We've been waiting for you, it's true, because we believe that every person who comes into this circle of this special fellowship was sent by God himself. It is not by accident that we have the joy to express Christ's love to you with genuine heartfelt warmth. We are eager to know you. We are excited to share with you the marvelous ways God is working in our church. It won't take you long to discover that this is truly a family, rich in a relationship that matters most. Growing together, we worship, we serve, we love, we cry, we learn, and we reach out to you with our world with life transforming truth. We reach out to you as well. Our doors are open. Our hearts are open too. If you've been thinking, praying, searching, and hoping for a place to belong, we say again, welcome home. You're welcome. Brother, let's stretch forth our hands and pray for them. Let's pray that the Lord blesses them because it is not by accident that they are here. It was the Lord that ordered their step to this place. The Lord will satisfy their heart with all their heart desire. The Lord will uphold them with, their, with his strength, with his power, with his blessings. At the end of the day, may his name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. You are welcome. So this is Lifegate Parish. We have three services. The first service, which is due of heaven. The second, this is the second service. And the third service is Ignite. You are welcome. We, are, we hope to see you next Sunday too in Jesus' name. Welcome to the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Lifegate Parish. If this is your first time worshiping with us today, we want to take the time to say thank you and to tell you how excited we are that you are here today. On Sundays, we have three services. The first service, the Dew of Heaven, starts at 8 a.m. It is quick, direct, fresh, and powerful. The second service, Fountain of Glory, starts at 9.30 a.m. It is filled with an abundance of worship, praise, prayer, and celebration. But on every first Sunday of the month, we have our Thanksgiving service, which starts at 9 a.m., where we join our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, via telecast. The third service, Ignite, starts at 11.30 a.m. This is a youthful, vibrant, energetic service filled with high praise, worship, and His word.
Join us every morning at 6 a.m. for a special time of prayer from Monday to Fridays on Zoom. It is good to start the day with the Lord so you can have a fruitful and productive day. House Fellowship holds at 5 p.m. every Sunday at our various House Fellowship centers. Every Wednesday we have our Upon Mount Zion prayer and fasting day program. It holds by 6 p.m. We encourage you to be a part of this program and also join in the fasting. Each week we'll have a theme for the month. Week 1, the Holy Communion Service. Week 2, the Divine Provision Service. Week 3, the Pentecost Night Service. And week 4, the Anointing Service. On months where we have 5 weeks, the final week will be themed Alone with God. It promises to be powerful, calm, and be blessed. Our sisters in the house, praise the Lord. Every Thursday at 9 a.m., we have the Victorian Sisters Fellowship, where you get to laugh, cry, connect, share, and be free with your fellow sisters with no brothers allowed. We are not leaving our kings and priests out. Men's Fellowship holds every third Sunday of the month. Here you deliberate on issues that bother men, network, and pray together for the success of our families and the church at the boulevard immediately after the second service. Our welfare food bank makes food packs available every Sunday after the second service for anyone who truly cannot afford the meal. If you fall into this category, kindly make your way down to the cafeteria to get what God has provided for you. Our medical team will be available to attend to your medical needs every Sunday after the second service. Testimony, suggestions, and prayer requests to the church email, thelifegates at gmail.com. The best way to get connected with us is by joining our WhatsApp platform 081-66-52-6227 where you get to receive announcements, job openings, and many more. Also by following us on our social media platform on Facebook at LCCG LifeGate Parish, YouTube and Instagram at LCCG LifeGate, Twitter, Mixerloud, SoundCloud at LCCG LG. You can reach out and connect to a pastor by following him on the social media platform on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Pastor Shegun Bawo. You have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. And remember, God loves you. Thank you. Those worshiping with us for the first time, immediately after this service, uh, the first timer welcome team will be waiting for you at level one. That is the ground this floor. Please go there so that they can welcome you in a very, very special way, a life gateway. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Also, the medical outreach opens immediately after the service and it holds at the bowl, uh, at the Elim Day, the auditorium, I mean the, the building just behind this uh, auditorium. Go there, the nurses, the doctors, other medical personnel will be waiting for you. You can check your vital signs. You can go for consultations. And as you do that, I pray the Almighty God will grant you perfect health in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The food bank opens immediately after the third service. If you are believing God for a meal, go out there. You will meet the care team that will be waiting for you to serve you. And as you do that, God will bless you in Jesus' name. And if you know you can afford a meal, those that may not be able to afford a meal can have a meal to themselves. May the Lord bless you as you keep to this uh, directive in Jesus' name. Men in the house shout hallelujah. If you are proud to be a man, rise to your feet and shout a bigger hallelujah. Amen. God bless all the men in the house in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a meeting immediately after this service and it holds at the boulevard. Please just go there immediately after the service. It will not take long. It will just be for about 20 minutes. But, I mean, important issues will be discussed. So we'll be there and God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. And next Sunday, the men, I'm sorry, next Saturday, the men will hold their shushia hangouts here in the church. If you're excited about that, shout hallelujah. And it is themed discovery for men. Discovery for men. 
to be featuring valuable discussions about mental health, about retirement plans, about sexual life, and about landlord and tenant rights. You will agree with me that these are important topics. So men, be there on Saturday, and you will be blessed in Jane. And I want to encourage women to please, on Saturday morning, wake up your man and say, the kings and priests are waiting for you in the church because you are part of them. Let them come here. The time is nigh him. And God will bless you home as you do that in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Women in the house, shout hallelujah. The women too, they are holding their home meeting today. Maybe it's because men are meeting. Women too are meeting today. But I think it is good. So there is no any excuse for men that ordinarily would want, not want to stay. The wife, their wives are staying, so they are going to be around too. So women are holding their meetings this afternoon, immediately after the service at level one. Please be there. It is very important. You are also discussing very important issues. Please be there. And as you do that, the almighty God will bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Also, members are encouraged to join the LifeGate community on WhatsApp. You can do that by scanning the QR code that will be displayed on the, on the screen. And you can also use the link sent via your WhatsApp and uh, other social media handles, Facebook, um, Twitter. Just join. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. I also want to encourage you to forward the links to your families, to your friends, to your neighbors. Let them be part of the great thing that the Almighty God is doing in life gates. And they will be blessed in Jesus' name. Our days of service remain as announced. Wednesday, our evening service will be here. By 6 p.m., God is going to bless you in Jesus' Lord, praise the living Jesus. Let us rise to our feet as we take our closing prayers. For this God is our God forever. this morning, you are among the living. You are not in the mortuary. You are not in the cemetery. You are in the house of God, hell and hearty. You are going to give thanks to this almighty God by saying, oh Lord, thank you for finding me worthy to be among the living. Thank you for finding me worthy to be among the living. That I am not among the dead. That people are not mourning concerning me. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Almighty God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for finding me worthy to be among the living. It is not by my power. It is not by my strength. It is not by the medication that I take. It is not by the fact that I visit the doctors. It is not by the fact that I do exercise or that I eat good meal or balanced diet. 
It is by your mercy that I'm in good health. Father, thank you. It is by your mercy that I am alive. That I'm alive and in the land of the living. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. I return all glory to you. Father, thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. During the first service, the preacher, Sister Bukolami, talked about seasons of life. And we're going to pray this morning. We're going to say, Father, take charge of the seasons of my life and let your purpose be fulfilled. Father, take charge of the seasons of my life and let your purpose be fulfilled. In the mighty name of Jesus, Almighty God, take charge of the seasons of my life and let your purpose be fulfilled. Let your purpose be fulfilled in my life. Concerning me, only your purpose will stand. Father, concerning me and my household, only your purpose will stand. Take charge of the seasons of my life, O oh Lord. Take charge of the seasons of my life and let your purpose be fulfilled. Father, take charge of the seasons of my life and let your purpose be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take charge, take charge of the seasons of my life and let your purpose be fulfilled. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're going to say, oh Lord, I ask for restoration in any area of my life where I have missed your purpose. Let me explain that prayer point. Perhaps you have taken actions that ordinarily you shouldn't have taken and it has derailed your journey in life. Perhaps you have done things that you shouldn't have done and that, have, that such things have taken you to areas where you shouldn't even go to. You need restoration this morning. So you are going to ask God restoration prayer almighty god in any area of my life we have missed it father i seek restoration please restore me bring me back to the path of my glorious destiny has god to bring you path back to the path of your glorious destiny any area of your life where you have missed it any area of your life where you have derailed, ask for restoration. Ask for restoration. The God that restores is here this morning, is ready to restore all that you have lost. Bring you back to that path of your glorious destiny. Ask him to restore you this morning. If you know anyone, maybe your children or your brothers and sisters or any of your relatives that have missed it in life, seek on their behalf for the restoration of the almighty God. That God almighty in his mercy will restore you this morning. That he will restore you. That he will he restore you. That he will overlook your shortcomings. That he will restore you this morning. Every area of your life. That God almighty in his mercy will restore. Will bring total restoration this morning. In the mighty, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'm going to say, Father, let me enter into my happy season. My season of fulfillment and great accomplishment. Father, let me enter into my happy season. My season of fulfillment and great accomplishments. Please help me, help me. To enter into my happy season, oh Lord. My season of fulfillment and great accomplishments. Father, in any area of my life where I have been left behind by my peers, Father, help me, help me, help me. Grant me speed. Father, help me. Help me to enter into my happy season. My happy season, my season of fulfillment and great accomplishments. Oh 
Lord, help me. It is you I rely on. I cannot do it by myself. I rely on you, Father. I put all my trust in you. I put all my hope in you. I've labored by myself alone. But now I know it is only you that can help me. Father, help me to enter my happy season. My season of rest. My season of fulfillment. My season of great accomplishments. Help me, O oh Lord, to enter into my happy season. Help me, help me, Almighty God, to enter into my season of great accomplishments. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I'm going to say, Father, help me to live a life of character. Just as the preacher in the second service said, she talked about living a life of character. And we saw those in the Bible that lived a life of character. We saw how they excelled in life. We saw how God was with them. She gave example of Joseph. Joseph knew who he was. He lived a life of his destiny to end on the laps of Potiphar's wife. We saw the, 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 the three Hebrew men, the three young Hebrew men, they decided not to eat from the food prepared from the palace because they knew who they were. And they lived a life of character and they excelled. And I can say, God, Almighty God, help me to live a life of character. A life that would excel. A life, an exemplary life. Father, help me. Help me to live. Father, Father, help me. Help me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Still on that prayer, but we are going to take it in another form. We are going to say, Father, help me to live a life that pleases you. When you please God, when you live a life that pleases God, everything will work for you. So you're going to say, Almighty God, help me to live a life that pleases you. Oh, Father, help me. Help me to live a life that pleases you. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me, oh Lord, to live a life that pleases you. To live a life that pleases you. Help me, oh Lord, to live a life that you will be pleased with because I know that when I live a life that pleases you everything will work for me I know that you will fight my battles for me I know that you will make the crooked ways you make them to be smooth for me I know that if I live a life that is pleasing unto you victory will be mine at all times Father help me, help me to live a life that pleases you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Perhaps there are still people that have going to speak to God. You want to tell God the specific things that, that are bothering your heart. Things that you have been requesting for and you have not received answer. The altar is open this morning. You can come forward. You can stay wherever you are and kneel down. Just come forward God that answers prayer is waiting for you this morning and is going to attend to all your requests and you are going to return to testify to the goodness of the Lord. Let's take this song. I will lift up my eyes. I will lift up my eyes to the hills for what's home at my name.
Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the God that answers prayer, the God of all flesh that can do all things. May your name be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we have come before you this morning. We have come to your altar and we have brought all our requests. You are the God that answers prayer. Father, please attend to all our requests in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, answer all our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that need healing, you are the great healer. Father, heal in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that need divine provision. Father, you are Jehovah, Rapha. You are the great healer. Please heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, those that need divine provision. Almighty God, you are Jehovah Jireh. Father, please provide in the mighty name of Jesus. In every area of our life, Father, let us receive victory in Jesus' name. Amen. In our homes, Father, be our shield in Jesus' name. Amen. Concerning our children, concerning our family, Father, let your perfect protection be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty Father, we ask that concerning all the requests that we have brought before you this morning, let us return to testify to your goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh Lord, because you assured us that the confidence we have is that when we ask according to your will, you will do. And we have asked according to your will this morning. We know that you have done. You have answered our prayers. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. The third service begins after the service. I want to encourage us to be part of it. The Lord Almighty God will bless you in Jesus' name. Men in the house, please remember your meeting holds immediately after this service. And all your meeting holds immediately after this service. God bless you.